Hi guys, I just woke up, so I thought it would be a um, perfect time to do a um, skin update, just because the as soon as I wake up, that's the only time that I'm not wearing any makeup. The rest of the day I'm wearing makeup, so it's hard to make a video. Um, but anyways, so yeah, I wanted to do um, a skin update. That's what I said. <laughs> and I guess I'll just start off right away with close-ups. So you can see my skin. Um... This is my skin two weeks after my last freak out <laughs> and um, a week and a half after my last acne peel. So, okay, forehead, just have one spot here. It's totally gone, it's just the mark. The rest is perfect. And my cheek. And my other cheek. This right here is the worst, probably. Yeah, this is, like, the worst. I've had this pimple here for, like, a month now, I swear. It's, just, it's, it's, like, two of them, like, really close together. And it just looks like a big, huge bump. So I've had that for, like, nearly a month. It's so annoying. And then, um, a couple more here that just kind of come and go. That's what it's been like for the past two weeks right here. Um, <clears throat> I just like get pimples that come and go, come and go, come and go. And of course they leave their stupid red marks. Um, and the same, I have a pimple here. But the rest here are just like the red marks that I got for my breakout, for my last breakout. Um, which is what sucks so much about acne. Like it sucks when you're having the breakout. And then after, it leaves all those stupid red marks that you have to deal with for weeks and weeks to come. So, that's what sucks. Because, yeah, right here, I mean, all of these are just red marks. Like, this is a recent pimple. And this is a pimple I have right now. And this one's going away. But everything else, like the 50,000 other marks on my face, they're just red marks. And this stupid breakout here that just hasn't gone away. It's just there. And doesn't want to go anywhere. So, yeah, my skin has been, um, I guess the past two weeks, it's, you know, I haven't been totally feeling down about my skin just because what I have right now, I can deal with. I'm not the kind of girl that freaks out when I have a pimple or two on my face. Like, having a pimple or two is, like, freaking amazing. <laughs> so, um... This actually isn't so bad. I can I can deal with this. If my skin was like this all the time, I probably would have never even started posting videos on YouTube because this is not, um, it looks horrible and I hate it. I'm not going to lie. But um, this doesn't totally ruin my day. You know, whatever. I can, I can deal with this. Um, so, oh, gosh, I... Definitely need to talk about all of the feedback I got on my last video. Thank you guys so, so much. Um, I got a ton of feedback, and it's it's great hearing from you guys. And um, You really helped me, um, I guess, just think about what I need to do next with this stupid skin of mine. And I got a lot of really good advice, a lot of really good tips. And I really, really appreciate everything that you guys... Um, Tell me, I'm, you know, it's, it feels nice that some of you, you know, take time out of your day to either tell me your stories about, you know, all of the things that you've had to go through because of your acne or, um, you know, just taking time out of your busy schedule to kind of give me tips on things I should do, things I should try that might help with my acne. So I really do appreciate that. I do read every single email, every single comment. I read everything and I try to respond um, to everyone because if you take time out of your day to write me, of course I'm gonna take time out of my day to write you. Um, sometimes it might take me a little a little while to write back, but I always do get back to you guys. So thank you so much for all of that feedback. Um, I, I, hmm. so um, just so you guys know, everyone voted for Save for Accutane. That was like everyone's advice. Uh, I, I think um, that's probably the best advice. You know, and 
unfortunately, life has happened to me. <laughs> um, unfortunately, um, my life is not just my skin. Well, no, not unfortunately. Fortunately, life is not just my skin. But Like my car, my, my stupid car has been giving me trouble all the time. It's like there's always something wrong with it. Every other month, something's like breaking down and I need to pay for something to get fixed. And sure enough, um, last week, Last week, my car wouldn't start. I was, uh, you know, I, like, went to my car to get to work, turn it on, nothing, dead. I'm like, oh. so, like, I've had to pay money to fix that stupid car. And now I think I really need to get a new car. But that, that kind of messes up with the whole, um, save for Accutane. Because I cannot kind of try to buy another car and then make all the monthly payments and all of that and then save an additional 500 a month or at least 500 a month for my Accutane treatment. So I'm like, I'm so confused. I don't know what to do. Should I just like, now, okay, I'm not, no, I don't need advice on this, but like this is what's kind of going through my head. Um, do I just stick with my stupid car that I have now and deal with it breaking down on me all the time and pay for my skin stuff or should I just kind of try to deal with my skin stuff in a less expensive way and um get a get a new car I, I really need a new car um I don't know I wish I was made out of money so I could do both um <laughs> but yeah I don't know so anyways, for now, I think I'm just going to, um, I don't know. I still don't know what I'm going to do. And, um, let me get, let me just tell you one thing. Um, peels do not really help people that have like really moderate to severe acne, especially if you have severe acne. Peels really aren't going to help you. I've kind of discovered that. <laughs> But they make your skin feel amazing and they make your skin glow. Like, I just, I love how the peels, um, like, pretty much change the texture of my skin. Because I have, like, the biggest pores in this area. And my camera's obviously not going to pick up on them. But I have these, like, huge, gigantic, abnormal-looking pores. They're just so big. And whenever I have an acne peel, it, like, makes them smaller. And I love that, and it makes my skin feel so soft. Because right now, I think also one of the things that has helped me not feel so bad about my skin this for the last you know few weeks is the fact that maybe my skin looks not so great, but it feels amazing. Like when I'm washing my face or when I'm applying moisturizer or whatever, my skin just feels so soft and smooth. It feels like baby skin. <laughs> so yeah, like. Peels again. They don't. They don't help with your acne. Um. Well, they do help with your acne, but they don't like get rid of your acne. But they do um make your skin feel very soft, which I love. I love having soft skin. So yeah, and like I said, what I have right now, I can deal with. I just, I just hope that it stays like this. It just, you know, what I hate is when I get those stupid breakouts and I just start breaking out all over the place. I hate those because. When I break out, I break out in the cystic acne and it hurts. And I, I'm not, I'm a low, I have a very low tolerance for pain. So anything that hurts just makes me feel bad. So yeah, that's why I have all those freak out, like, you know, those like, oh my gosh, I'm freaking out because <laughs> I start freaking out because I get stuff on my face that hurts and I don't like that. And then on top of it, it looks horrible. So yeah. Okay. So yeah, I've been like going on and on and on and on. So I guess I will stop now. Um, I'm gonna. I also have um, an updated foundation routine to show you guys, um, which I filmed like weeks and weeks ago. I just have been lazy and haven't uploaded it. Well, soon after I upload this video, I'll also upload my updated foundation routine. And yeah, I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.